Well, picnic baskets all packed. Now, where again is this forest we're going to? I have a map. It's a remote area, and nobody ever takes care of the animals up there or feeds them. <laughs> you love feeding animals, don't you? Uh, look who's talking. Speaking of which, where are... Oh, Odie's watching a fairy tale on TV, and Garfield's upstairs asleep. Have you vanquished the evil witch and the purple troll? Huh? He should be waking up any minute now. No, oh, what a strange dream. I was eating linguine and clams. Usually on Tuesdays, I dream about eating fettuccine and clams. <gasps> Let's see what time it is. Oh, no. I'm missing my favorite show. <clears throat> Search the kingdom to find his true love. <laughs> Thanks, Odie. I almost missed Eddie Gourmand. <laughs> Today he's going to take a look at spaghetti and meatballs. <laughs> welcome to my show, people. Welcome, welcome, welcome. On today's show, we're going to look at spaghetti and meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't this wonderful? This is the best show on television, apart from mine, of course. Oh. Oh. I've gained three pounds just watching it so far. Odie, you'd rather watch some fairy tale than look at spaghetti and meatballs? Uh-huh. <laughs> for the benefit of those of you who just joined us, We'll be looking at this plate of spaghetti and meatballs for an entire hour! <laughs> oh, and tomorrow is Chinese food day. We'll be looking at mugu gai <laughs> shrimp and oyster sauce, <sighs> chicken chow <tume>. mein! <laughs> Fairy tales are silly. I could make up a better story than this. <laughs> Liz and I are leaving. We'll be back late. Enjoy yourself, guys. We will. And don't get into any trouble. We will. You want me to read you a fairy tale? I have important things to do. Naps. More naps. Naps during other naps. Huh? <sighs> Uh, okay, but wait here a moment. <laughs> oh! Ah, ham and cheese on sourdough with brown mustard. That picnic basket looked heavy. It seemed lighter just now. About the weight of a ham and cheese on sourdough with brown mustard. Hmm. Ah, this one will do. Huh? 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 All right, let's see. Once upon a time, I've read this story. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay, once upon a time, there was an extremely handsome cat. You want to know how handsome this cat was? <laughs> that handsome. Who is the cat who people celebrate? Me. It's me. Who is the one they all appreciate? Me. Yes, me. Who is the slyest? Who's on the rise? As you can see me. Still me. Who is the highest? Who takes the prize? Me, not you. Me. Who wins the test? Above the rest. By now you've guessed, you're impressed, and I'm so blessed. I must suggest it's me. The very best it's me. He lived a quiet but happy life within the castle. Sometimes he would eat. And sometimes he would sleep. 
And sometimes he would eat and sleep. Saves time. The magnificent cat's life was good, except for three problems. One was an extremely dim-witted dog that was always asking him to throw a stick so it could be fetched. That's what it says here. Do you think I'm just making this all up? <laughs> Fine, let's move on. Where was I? Oh yes, uh, asking him to throw a stick so it could be fetched. <sighs> oh. All right, all right, just to be rid of you. For those of you who don't know, this is called a catapult. Catapult is an ancient weapon invented by Greek soldiers to hurl large boulders at their enemies. But it's even handier for this. <laughs> See you sometime around Halloween. So the dog with the long tongue was one of his problems. Another was the prince's twin nieces. There he is! There's the kitty cat! Oh no! Kitty cat! Kitty cat! Kitty cat! Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Let's give him a bath! 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 I am so doomed. Let's play Let's Let's do his no, no, Stop! We'll Call the palace him. guard! We'll Call the royal Let's babysitter! Call the fashion really police! Help. Help. We'll the He'll smell so sweet! He'll look gorgeous! And the worst part is I didn't even look good in this color. <laughs> <sighs> and the cat's third problem was his master's problem. Prince John had to find a bride, and he needed one soon. But I do not want to marry any of the women at the royal ball last night. Look, I'm just the royal food taster around here, but I know this. Royal law says that if you don't marry by your 21st birthday, <sighs> the next in line becomes king. <sighs> and you know who the next in line is. Huh? Next in line was the royal viceroy. And he was not a nice man at all. All right, attention, peasants. When I take charge, I'll be instituting some new taxes. Let's see. Tax on inhaling, tax on exhaling, tax on holding your breath, tax on not breathing at all. I protest these taxes! Tax on protesting these taxes. A tax on tying your shoes. A tax on wearing loafers. What if we go barefoot? Uh, a tax on going barefoot. Thank you. All right, a tax on thumbtacks. A tax on putting ketchup on a cheese sandwich. <sighs> his greed will destroy this kingdom. Which is why you need to find a bride. And soon, like tomorrow. <sighs> Then marry I shall, even if I have to marry the next woman who walks through that door. <gasps> oh! Huh? Huh? Well, maybe I could keep looking for a little longer. You know, he doesn't look good in that color. He had been dining with every available maiden in the kingdom and was down to the last three. People say you gotta help humanity. I say, what has humanity ever done for me? <laughs> Strike one. Me 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 and only me. Must you speak all evening about yourself? You are right, Prince John. Let us speak about you now. What do you think of me? Strike two. So, uh, uh, tell me a little about yourself. Uh, I'd like to get to know you. Uh. Strike three. She's out. 
Boy, can you imagine trying to live with someone like that? <laughs> it was about then that the not all that smart dog finally got back with the stick. Oh, hi. Well, it looks like the prince will never find a bride. The evil viceroy will be our new king. Bad for the kingdom, but I don't care that much. Nothing that evil, power-mad guy does will affect me. Attacks on watching cartoon shows. Attacks on blinking. Attacks on dancing with a monkey. See, that doesn't affect me. Attacks on vigorous exercise. See, that really doesn't affect me. Attacks on eating pasta. Tomato sauce, or anything that contains cheese. See, none of these things affect me. <gasps> Attacks on pasta? No, 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 no. Unfair. Uh, tax Brussels sprouts. Tax health food. Tax anything with yogurt in it. Just don't tax lasagna. Pop, we have to stop that man. We have to help Prince John find a wife. So the brilliant cat and the not brilliant dog were determined to, oh wait. Time for a burrito break. Wait here. And don't you go anywhere either. I'll be back in one burrito. Mmm. <laughs> Good burrito. Hope you had something tasty while I was gone. Now, where were we? Add one cup of flour to eggs and whisk thoroughly through until smooth. Add heavy cream. Huh? <laughs> huh? Oops, sorry. <laughs> Wrong book. Oh. Huh? Although that one was getting pretty interesting. Now then. So the brilliant cat and the not brilliant dog were determined to help Prince John marry so he could be king. But time was running out for him to find a bride. I have dreamed for a mate who cared about life and beauty and the world around her. And me. Me would be nice. You didn't find anyone you could marry? Year after year. I spend my days alone No one comes near I'm always on my own The only life I've known Dreaming every night I'll find Princess Wright A woman who'll demand me Who'll love and understand me When will she meet me? When will she greet me? She is the woman who will complete me. Where is she hiding? Where is she residing? Things will be so fine on the day she is mine. On the day she is mine. In all my days of searching, I have found but one, and she will not marry me. You found, you found one? Yes. She is caring and compassionate. Her name is Elizabeth. <sighs> and she is a commoner. Oh, a commoner. A commoner! <sighs> Prince John told the royal food taster. <laughs> Huh? Oh, wait. Oh. Are you quite finished? Fine. So Prince John told the royal food taster about the woman named Elizabeth, who lived in a cottage in the blue forest to be near the animal she so dearly loved and cared for. She would feed the friendly squirrels. She would feed the stray cats and dogs. She would feed the colorful bluebird. 
She would feed mice and moles, and she would even feed the real disgusting creatures you sometimes find out in the woods. <laughs> the birds and animals all love you, Fair Elizabeth. Ah, uh, that's because I love them. I love you too, Prince John. But I will not be your bride. Huh? Why not? The man I marry must show he has extraordinary heart. I have heart. You are a good man, Prince John, but you have lived a pampered life. You have never been called upon to show you possess that quality. <sighs> that is sadly true. <laughs> How before the deadline could I possibly prove to her I am all that? I cannot even prove it to myself. Sure you can. You go out to the blue forest, find your lady love, and convince her to be your bride. You think I should? You're the hero of this story. Act like it. Ah, my cat is right. I'm always right. <laughs> I shall ride into the blue forest and find her now. Huh? Hold on, back in a sec. Oh, by the way, thanks. I don't know why I thank him. I can't talk and he can't hear me. Okay, now, where was I? Oh, yes, the prince admitted his cat was right, and... Well, if you wanted pizza, you should have ordered eight of them like I did. The prince said... I shall ride into the blue forest and find her now! Like a man possessed, the prince rode his fiery charger out of the castle and off towards the blue forest. He was determined not to return until he reached his lady love and convinced her to become his bride. Don't get so happy yet, it's not that easy. Meanwhile, the dashing cat thought his troubles were over. See how it works, pup? Prince John will get her to marry him, the evil viceroy will not become king, and all my problems will be solved. Wow. Oh, no! What's a shoe size? Yeah. The perfume! Silent Ray! No! Oh, stop! Oh, 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 clean it stop! Oh, 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 no, yeah, stop! Perfume. Correction. Not all my problems will be solved. It is oh. It's that time again! You're watching the air! Get out for your yeah. dad! Have a day! We want to play dress no. up with the kitty cat! We want to play dress up with the kitty cat! And this still is a bad color for me. Look! It's, it's a puppy dog! <laughs> puppy dog! It's a puppy dog! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the prince is heading up into the blue forest. So, like, if he convinces Ow. the animal lady to marry him, what happens to your plan to become king? He won't convince her because he won't get to her. There's only one road into the Blue Forest, and I've arranged to have it guarded by someone. <laughs> Towards the Blue Forest, Prince John rode, determined that nothing would stop him from reaching his fair Elizabeth. But something oh. could stop him. He could be stopped by... Uh, the thing that could stop him was... Oh, wait, I'm trying to think. Uh, oh, good heavens. Look what time it is. I have to go annoy the mailman. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, it's just you, Garfield. I thought maybe you'd have some trick in mind to scare me. You know, like dressing up as a fire-breathing dragon. Huh? Me? Sweet, kindly me. Fire-breathing dragon, huh? Hmm. Well, here's your mail. <laughs> Scaring the mailman is not nice, but it is part of my job description. 
Bill, 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 John has jury duty. Bill, fire-breathing dragon, huh? <clears throat> but as Prince John made his way into the forest, Prince John rode as a man possessed, determined to reach the fair Elizabeth. A man he encountered warned him of the danger that lay ahead. A fire-breathing dragon? Up the road a piece. You can't miss him. He's a dragon and he breathes fire. I will not be denied my true love. I am not afraid of any fire-breathing <laughs> dragon. <laughs> Unfortunately, my horse is. But I will not be denied! Deeper and deeper into the forest he went. But there was no sign of this monster he'd been warned about. Fire-breathing dragon, ha! What nonsense! What foolishness! <laughs> what am I doing here? <laughs> I wouldn't exactly describe Prince John as brave. Uh, courageous? No. Stupid? You're getting warmer. I guess the word that best describes him is... Ah! Barbecued. I'd say medium rare. Somehow the prince made it back to the castle. Their spirits were down and taxes were going up. A tax on using adverbs. A tax on clipping your toenails on a Wednesday. A tax on being named Michael. Prince John turns 21 at noon tomorrow. If he isn't married, that nasty man becomes king. What are we gonna do? A tax on not making up your mind? Hmm. You know that real dumb thing Prince John just tried? Well, I hate to say it, but I think we have to try it too. And so the adorable cat and the not-too-bright dog set off for the blue forest. Prior to takeoff, please make sure that your seat and tray tables are in the upright position and that all electronic devices are powered off. Are you ready? <laughs> and away we go! <laughs> I hope someone comes by to pass out those little bags of peanuts. They had gotten about as far as Prince John got when... <laughs> Do not be afraid, faithful and furry friend. There's no reason to be afraid of a fire-breathing dragon. None whatsoever. I'll be back in the castle. Let me know how things turn out. <laughs> The brave cat and the mediocre dog, face to face with the dragon. And then... And then... And then... And then... You know what goes great after pizza? A tuna salad sandwich on rye. I'll come back and finish the story right after I have my tuna sandwich. Quit oh. shoving, I'm going, I'm going. Now, where did I leave off? Oh, right. The superior cat and the adequate dog were face to face with a fire-breathing dragon. There are times, my canine friend, when one must stand tall against an enemy and not flee in terror. This is not one of those times. Escape the dragon for now. Huh? They still had a problem. In order to reach this woman, we have to go up this road. 
The dragon will be waiting for us. But the cat was not only handsome, he was smart. And an idea came to him. It seems like a rotten thing to do to anyone, even a fire-breathing dragon. But this is a desperate situation. Come on. <laughs> Here, you take one, and I'll take the other. Candy cat, <laughs> dog, dog. We want to play with the dragon! We want to play with the dragon! He's so adorable! He's such a cute dragon! Let's the dragon! He could use a moisturizer! He has such nice coloring! for being so mean to you before. Hey, we all feel a little dragony when we don't look our best. If you want to make it up to us, how about a lift? Sure, where to? There's a lady named Elizabeth who lives in a cottage in the Blue Forest. Oh, sure. The one who takes care of animals and won't marry the prince? <laughs> And so they all headed for the dwelling of the lovely Elizabeth. Finally, the magnificent cat had had enough. He abandoned Drusilla and Minerva in the forest, and they were never seen again. <gasps> Oh, you're right. That's too rotten even for me. I, I mean for the wonderful cat. No, he didn't do that. We want to be one, we want to be one, we will drop these adorable children safely off at the castle, then head up there. Happy now? <laughs> Well, now, here comes real trouble. As they rode, they passed one of the animals that Elizabeth fed, a repulsive little cat named Nur uh, named Lamrin. <laughs> yeah, Lamrin. Lamrin was the only animal Elizabeth fed who wasn't nice. In fact... Hey, if I tell the Viceroy about this, he'll reward me when he becomes king. <laughs> He ran all the way to the castle and spilled the beans. Maybe he'll name me officially the cutest kitty cat in the kingdom. <laughs> Looks that way. They're probably gonna try and convince Elizabeth to marry the prince. If she does, he becomes king instead of me. That would destroy my whole plan to loot the kingdom. Well, I help you out. So what's my reward? I'll give you a reward. Mail him to Abu Dhabi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did I say Abu Dhabi? Sorry, I read that wrong. <clears throat> what he actually said was, I'll give you a reward. Throw him in the tower! <gasps> but why? <laughs> <laughs> I hate snitches. But I'm loyal. I'm cute. I'm cute and loyal. And did I make it adorable? While you're at it, throw the prince in there with him. I'm not taking any chances, and I better take care of that woman he wants to marry. The royal dog catcher threw Lamron in the prison tower, and then he threw the prince in there with him. You can't do this to me. I'm the ruler of this kingdom. Not after tomorrow, you ain't. While the viceroy went to visit a wicked witch he kept on staff, I asked for a poison apple. Ah, apples are too healthy. I'm making spaghetti bolognese. 
you'll see what it does when the royal food taster gets here. <laughs> royal food taster! Any food you need tasted today? Maybe something yummy? Try some of this. Mmm, smells simply scrumptious. <laughs> Hmm, not bad. Could use a pinch of oregano, maybe a drop of olive oil. And I would suggest some maybe... Will he sleep forever? He'll sleep until a true love comes and kisses him. <laughs> That'll be forever. Hmm. All right, go. Take care of her. I will. But first, I'll transform myself into someone she would never suspect was a wicked witch. Room! Oh. <laughs> 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 Off she went with the spaghetti of doom. Before long, she was there. Cottage. Here you go, a little mole. <laughs> Here you go, a little chicken. She's so nice to us. I ought to lay her an egg. I would too if I could. Which one is the right choice? The man who can stand up and fight. The one who has the most haunting voice. The artist who has a gift to write. If he said he needs me, I'd feel like my life had begun. Which one is the right choice? Which one? <coughs> Hello? Is uh, anybody at home? Yes! Buongiorno, bellissima. I see you feed all the animals. I thought it was about time someone fed you. Why, that's very nice of you. Oh. <laughs> 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 no, I can't tell her not to eat the spaghetti of doom. She invited the chef in. It smells delicious, but I'm on a diet. I shouldn't be eating pasta. But I slaved over a hot cauldron, I mean a, a, a stove all day. Just a taste. <laughs> well, since you worked so hard on it... <gasps> <laughs> yes. Room. And so the evil witch had succeeded in her... <laughs> Quiet, Odie. The evil witch had succeeded in her mission, largely because the heroic cat and OK dog arrived two minutes too late. Two minutes can make all the difference in the world. Two minutes can mean life and love and happiness. Or it can mean this. <laughs> huh? Odie, it's just a story. Odie! Doesn't that dog understand this is a fairy tale? I'm gonna have to find him and explain that to him. But first, I'm gonna get something to eat. Why don't you join me? Huh? 
want to hear the rest of the story? It has a happy ending. Not everything in life does, but fairy tales do. That's what's great about them. But if you don't want to hear it... Okay, have a seat. Well, as you can imagine, the animals were all very sad about what had happened to the lovely Elizabeth. Oh, she was always so kind to us. Hey, who's that cat that just arrived? That's Prince John's cat, I think. Prince John's cat? I've always admired him. He's so wonderful. Uh, where'd he go? He's inside the cottage. Hmm. Sorry, I smelled the spaghetti bolognese and I had to have a taste. <laughs> oh, and they could use uh, just a touch of basil. <laughs> Maybe Elizabeth is just asleep. But she snores way more dainty. They quickly discussed what they had to do. It was the beautiful lady cat who came up with the answer. We have to get him to a wizard. Where are you gonna find the wizard at this hour? Oh, oh <gasps> I know where there's a wizard near here who's open 24 hours? Well then, let's get in there. Through the forest they raced, raced to the dwelling of Merle, the all night we never close wizard. It looks like the spaghetti of doom. My wife used to make that. You've got to help him, oh great wizard. You just have to. I can't help him. But you can. Me? He sleeps the sleep of magic. I can only be awakened by a kiss from one who loves him. Judging by the concern on your face, I would say that's you. You mean just kiss him? <laughs> ah, give it a shot. <laughs> See what happens. Yeah, go for it. Ah. Whoa! Hey, is there any more of that great spaghetti? Wow, it worked! <laughs> Not only did they wake up the superb cat, but they learned something else. Is that how to awaken our friend Elizabeth? Indeed! A kiss from a true love is all that is required. And I know who her true love is. Come on, let's go get Prince John. <laughs> hey, what are you guys doing here? We just heard terrible news. Yes, this bluebird tells us that the Viceroy has locked Prince John in the tower. Huh? huh? He can't do that. Mm. We need Prince John to kiss Elizabeth and awaken her. And then he needs to marry her so he can be king and stop that evil man. Oh my <laughs> But the wise cat knew there was only one answer to the problem. We are! Everybody, follow me! And so all the animals went off to rescue Prince John and also save the fair Elizabeth. As they marched towards the castle, others joined in, animals who'd been befriended over the years by Elizabeth. Why not the castle? The evil Viceroy had decided not to wait to seize power. Guard, from now on you are to address me as your highness and follow orders. Is that clear? Yes, your, your highness. highness. But you aren't king until tomorrow. And only if Prince John doesn't marry. Ha, how can he marry? He's in the tower prison, and the one woman who he'd marry is sleeping for all eternity. <laughs> I'm taking the throne now. <laughs> Your Highness, there's an army marching on the castle. An army? An army of barbarians? An army of pirates?
It seems to be an army of squirrels and cats and dogs and chickens. <laughs> Just keep the gate locked. We have nothing to fear from squirrels and cats and dogs and chickens. While up in the tower... It is no use. Even if I could escape from the cell, Elizabeth will not marry me. Sure she would. She's crazy about you. Uh, she is? Sure. She thinks you're even cuter than I am, and that's real cute. You just need to convince her you're brave and good. I am. But how do I prove it to... What's that commotion? The prince had no idea what was going on. And the rescue party didn't have much more of one either. How do we get inside the castle? Yeah, the gate is locked. I know. Huh? I'll dig us a tunnel inside. <laughs> How long will that take? Oh, not more than a oh. month or two. We don't have time for that. <gasps> Leave it to me. <laughs> Stop them! Stop those animals! Somebody kiss me? We have a nice project! Yeah, we're gonna try Come back! On. Wow! My friends have taken over the whole castle! Do you think somebody's going to rescue oh. us? Consider yourself rescued. Okay. Not you. Uh, we gotta get out of here. I'm going to take the tax money I've collected so far and flee! Uh, we're with you! It looked like the bad guys were gonna escape with all the money the evil viceroy had stolen from the people of the city. <laughs> <laughs> Viceroy, his aide, and the wicked wits fled in terror of the dragon. <laughs> Quick! Turn the catapult so it faces the castle. <laughs> you want to get away from the dragon? Quick! Use the catapult. Get right in and I'll fling you to safety. Thank you. <laughs> All comfy now? Good. <laughs> huh? No, we're not to the happier ever after part yet. We still have to wake up the fair Elizabeth and get her to marry Prince John, remember? <laughs> after that, it was pretty simple. Prince John kissed Elizabeth. She woke up and realized who had saved her. Oh, you, Prince John, Aww. and all these animals. He was willing to fight a fire-breathing dragon for you. For me? <laughs> it seems you do have heart and courage. Then will you honor me by joining your heart to mine in marriage? But of course. We'll be happy together, truly birds.
birds of a feather. Having someone who cares answered my prayers. We will be happy, happy, we'll, we'll be so happy if they put us on trial. We'll be gone for a while. Bid freedom farewell, some prison cell will be our home. I once swore the crown. Now you're going down. And together on the way. I wish good times upon ya. Lots of pie and lasagna. We will be happy, 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 so happy. We'll be happy together. Any storm we can weather. Having someone to hold better than gold. We will be happy, happy, we'll be so happy. We will be happy. Well, at least they finally picked out a good color for me. <laughs> but apart from that, everyone lived happily ever after. Hey, look, the prince and the fair Elizabeth are home. I, I mean, John and Liz. Garfield, did you eat our picnic? Must be time for lunch or dinner or some meal. So, did you like the story, boy? 